find the component of A minus 7i plus 4j plus k along the line B from the point 8 minus 2 minus 5 to 4 negative 1 6. The first thing to notice is that a component along a line B is the dot product of A and the unit vector along the line. So what we need to do is find this unit vector and then we can take the dot product with A. To find the, dot, the unit vector, you have to find the position vector and divide it by its own magnitude to get a unit vector. So the position vector, R, along line B, is going to be 2 minus from. So 4 minus 8 I plus minus 1 minus negative 2 J plus 6 minus negative 5 K. R is minus 4 I plus J plus 11 K. This is a position vector along line B. It's not the unit vector. If you take the dot product of A and RB, this is not what we're looking for because this has magnitude greater than 1. So if we took the dot product of A and RB, this is not what we want because that would be increasing the magnitude of A. We don't want to do that. We want to find UB. So we want to take RB and divide it by its own magnitude to find a unit vector. That way when we take the dot product we haven't increased the magnitude of A. The magnitude of that position vector we can find using this Pythagorean theorem. Negative 4 squared plus 1 squared plus 11 squared. This is a square root of 138. So the unit vector is minus 4i plus j plus 11k divided by 100, the square root of 138. That gives you negative 0.34050i plus 0.085126j plus 0.936382k. It always makes good sense to check when you have a unit vector. Plug it into your calculator and make sure that these things squared actually add up to 1. And they do, in fact, add up to 1. So this is a unit vector. Now we can take the dot product of A and UB, and we won't, will not have increased the magnitude. To take a dot product, you multiply the I components, which in this case is negative 7, and negative 0.34050, and add it to the product of the J components, 4.085126, and the product of the K components, 1 and 0.93638. This gives you 3.6604. That's a scalar. The component of vector A along line B is 3.66. It's a scalar. The direction is given by the line B that you started with.